Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Doctor Wu Heaven Eye and Turbo figures. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to unbox them live, we're going to have a look at them in both of their modes, we're going to do some comparisons with their original um, or us newer versions of their actual Transformers selves. So what I mean by that is, just to clarify, this is not an official Transformers product. It is a third party product made by Dr. Wu and these make very small versions of figures that we well know and love. But of course, for trading reasons, they have to change their name. Now, I do solely believe that these are based on WSTs, which I'm going to show you in a second. Before we have a quick look at everything else, I need to thank Show Z because that's the online store in which I purchased this from. And as you can see, they got the box and the figures out to me nice and safely. So on the back, that is an image of the figures that we are going to be seeing right now. Once you open up the box, they come in this clamshell. And indeed, here are the figures. Before we have a quick look at them, again, taking a leaf out of Takara's book, they do have collector's cards, which you can see their robot modes there and all their stats there as well on the back now they also come with individual instructions but these at the moment are useless because um, as you can see they are packaged in their alternate mode but the instructions is from robot to um, alternate anyway let's just move these out of the way and to be honest that is a common problem with pretty much all third party figures so before we have a quick look at these a little bit of history i used to collect these these were amazing figures if you never saw these these are takara official world's smallest transformer figures and the clue is in the title that is exactly what they are now there's loads more of these they are really small and they pretty much replicate the generation one versions of themselves right down to the transformation process but these came out in 2003 for a couple of years and they were discontinued so this has enabled dr Wu, i think to corner that little niche in the market so hopefully this will give Takara the lead impetus again to go back to this particular toy line, which I loved. So here we have G2 uh, Ramjet, as we, of course, would know them. But of course, he's called Turbo in this. And the detail on these little figures is spectacular. I'm sure you can tell. Um, and again, probably I should have done this. So if you've got no idea the size of these and you've only ever collected main line, there's your standard core class Optimus Prime which looks huge now compared to these, as you can see. So your standard um, deluxe class figure is massive compared to these. So I'm hoping this is giving you a bit of an idea of a sense of scale for these figures. Uh, they do come with accessories, which I think is brilliant. In fact, I'm saying that um, the Seeker comes with accessories, which you can take off the shoulders there. Um, and they are separate. I'm going to show you the transformation processes because they shouldn't take too long. But you can tell that this is a brilliant homage to a G2 Ramjet. Right, let's have a go. In fact, let's show you just how small these are. There's a G1 um, Minibot. Absolutely tiny. I've got a Studio Series vehicle. Again, not even half the size of that. And one final thing. Just to give you an idea of the size, is the deluxe new animated Prowl. These things are very, very small. Okay, let's have a go at this then from memory. It should be the same as all the rest. So let's lift these, well, take the shoulder parts off, to be honest. I'm going to move the legs out of the way. I'm going to lift this up. I should show you what I'm doing. So I'm separating the shoulder parts here and the chest. This very much reminds me of the core class seekers, um, which of course we've seen. Then I'm going to bring this. I'm going to tuck the nose cone through. Yeah, you need to tuck it right through first. Again, a bit like a G1 seeker. And then very carefully rotate this 180 degrees. Again, like the official Takara core class seeker, shall we say and bring this in line close the chest cavity over it fold this part up fold the nose cone back over there because obviously he's already got one on the cone head then you can fold the feet out you can fold the wings back as well and indeed separate the arms now from that back part so there we go there he is absolutely teeny teeny tiny i'm going to put his accessories back in his shoulders and I'm going to very quickly as I say just bring in a few things again just to give you an idea of size comparison so there's a WST 
Um, I haven't got a G2 Ramjet because of course, well, no, it was released, but I don't have one. There is a G1 Ramjet. And um, I got here the new version. So that's a much bigger figure. That's a Voyager class version of a G2 Ramjet. And I'm going to get, there we go. There is the core class Starscream Seeker. So you can see just how small he is compared to that. With regards to people who collect third party and especially legend scale figures already, this is gonna give you an idea of size as well. So they're tiny compared to even New Age and indeed Magic Square and Iron Factory figures as well. Funnily enough, there's the Doctor Wu Optimus Prime. And as you can see, they are all tiny. I'm just gonna move these to the side for a second and I'm going to have a go at transforming because he shouldn't be that difficult, surely. Um, I'm going to have a go at transforming, what's his name? Heaven Eye. Now, this is where I'm going to ask for your help in the comments as well. Do you think this is a version of Pathfinder or do you think it's a G2, unreleased G2 version or shattered glass version of Little Cosmos here? I'm not too sure, to be honest, but let's have a go at transforming him. So it looks like these come off here, which they do. Fold the legs down, there's little knees there. Fold the feet, this guy's tiny. Separate the feet, bring, swing, get a swing them all the way up. Ah, they're on hinges like that. Swing the hinges up, pop the head out like so. And then this is gonna fold up and rotate at the back as well. Now this one is even smaller. <laughs> This is tiny. There's even, look, for the size of it, you've got obviously head articulation, it'll spin around, you've got shoulder, ball and socket, you've got a bicep flexion, you've got hips on ball and sockets, knee bends. Again, for such, I can't get over how small this is. I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to do this guy some justice. I've got a battery, actually, that might work. There is a AAA battery. He is as big as the AAA battery, the G1 Cosmos, one of the smallest figures ever made. He towers above this particular version, as you can see. Now, I'm not sure if it is Pathfinder. There's Pathfinder. You can see her there. She looks, um, she's got the different colored head. So I don't think it is a Pathfinder, to be honest. I'm thinking it is going to be like a shattered glass version. But to be honest, there's not much more to show you with these. I'm going to keep these displayed in their robot modes. I suppose because I've got these at hand, I might as well bring in some of the other little Doctor Wu figures I've got here. Um, and again, until Hasbro or Takara rather start making the little court, the WSTs for now, these will scale brilliantly with your Titan figures. There you go, guys. Let me know what you think of them in the comments. Take care.